goes off of the east, all the way to the Pacific Ocean. This is the eastern part of, of Europe, and in it we have the countries that the Slavic people come from and where they live now. Of course, there are lots of us who live here in the United States. The countries of Poland, uh, Russia, which you've certainly heard of, and Russia goes all the way to the Pacific. The country of Belarus, also the countries of Slovakia and the Czech Republic. And in the south, we have the countries of Slovenia, Bosnia, Serbia, Macedonia, and Bulgaria. And those are all occupied by the Slavic people. The Slavic people came to this part of Europe a little more than a thousand years ago. So this is after Rome fell, but the really before the start of the Middle Ages. At that time, they all spoke the same language, and they were like a single tribe. As time went on, they began to uh, have their languages change. How many of you have ever heard people who speak English from someplace other than America? Yeah, you've probably heard people on from England or from Scotland or from Jamaica. Probably, probably too. Definitely. But I'm talking about places where people speak as their first language. Okay, what does it mean when I put up my hand like this? Silence. Yeah, so I'm going to have to ask you silence uh, for a minute. But just like that sounds different, you know, when you hear somebody from England or from, from America speak English, over time, languages change. So even though a thousand years ago these people spoke exactly the same languages, now it sounds different. So let's see, it's about one o'clock. So it's time for us to say, uh, instead of saying good morning, we'll say good day. So people from down here, from Croatia and Serbia, they would say dobar dan. Can we say this? Dobar dan. Okay. Uh, from Bulgaria, they'd say dobri den. Okay, very well. Uh, and the people from Poland say, they turn it around and they say, Jan Dobry. Are you from, excuse me, yes ma'am? This, are you from Poland? Fantastic. <laughs> And my colleague here is Alexander. He's from Ukraine, and he'll tell you how to say hello or good day in Ukrainian. And uh, Russian too. Dobry day. Dobry day. Dobry day. And in Russian, dobry day. Dobry day. It sounds almost. It's almost almost exactly the same. And of course, the word day, dan, and jen, they all mean day. And dobry or dobar, that means good. It means good. So I would say that you are dobry detsi, good kids. Okay? So there now, now you've learned it. And you've learned something about languages and where these people are from. How many people uh, have parents or grandparents or great grandparents that are Slavic that came from this part of Europe? Yes. Okay, I mean, and so that means if you have a grandparent or a parent who's from Poland, uh, or is from Ukraine, or is from Russia, or is from or who's Slovak or Czech, we have quite a number of people here, and uh, and also from the southern part. The other thing that's very interesting is there are a lot of people, uh, just like in a way, just like the United States. Just because these are Slavic countries, that doesn't mean that the only people who live there are Slavic people. There are different, different groups of people who live there and who live there for many centuries. Uh, for example, there are people that we call gypsies who call themselves Roma. Can we say this? Roma? Roma. That's what they like to be. That's what they call themselves. Other people call them gypsies. And of course, there's another big group of people. Does anybody know another big group of people? And there are a lot of them probably here in this room, looking at the name of the school, who lived in Eastern Europe for a long time, for many centuries. Yes, sir. Of course, there were lots of Jewish people there. Lots and lots of Jewish people. And you'll hear in the music we play, if you, has anybody ever here ever heard Klezmer music? Klezmer music? I'll bet you you have. It's, a lot of people think, it's, think of it as just Jewish music. A lot of times they play, play a clarinet and maybe accordion and this sort of stuff. But 
I think some of the stuff we're going to play sounds familiar. But I'm going to start with something that isn't so familiar. So, who can tell me where the bagpipe comes from? Where they play? You look like you know in the green. Yes, tell me. <laughs> I don't know what they play up there. How about that? Scotland. Yes. Any place else where they play? Ireland. Ireland they play. Any any place else? Yes, sir. England. Pardon? England. They do play in England. Where else? Canada. You know? I've heard that too. I've heard that too. And you to the right there. Scotland. Very different. That's where most people think of. But actually it's an old instrument and it was played throughout Europe and actually even played in Turkey. I have heard that they, they have it in each other. It's old. What it is, this is an example of one. This is a kind called the Gaida. Can we say this? Gaida. 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 Okay. Uh, it's made from a, uh, it's, uh, it's made from a goat skin, so it's very definitely flakish. And the, uh, and it's got, it's just as if you had two different reed pipes stuck into it. So there's reeds inside here, kind of like the other clarinet. And we'll see what it sounds like. And this particular one is from Macedonia. It's right down there. They play similar instruments throughout all of this area under the names Gaida, Dula. Uh, in Ukraine, they call it Kozak. But this is an old fashioned type that they still use. And here I'll play a little dance piece to it. Macedonia, Macedonia. Is there anybody here who's ever been to Macedonia, or who's from Macedonian descent? I've been to Macedonia, Ohio. You've been to Macedonia, Ohio. It's named after that very Macedonia. It's named after that very Macedonia. Well, uh, so again, that instrument is called Gaida. I'll write it on the board. Remember. Even though it's got a J, that's AJ sounds like I, I. Okay. Now, the uh, other instruments I want to show you are some flutes that they use. Or that we use, because I'm one of them. 